Hello everyone, this is Rick and thanks so much for joining this Excel 2007 tutorial. This is the first tutorial, it's just a quick intro and there will be several more posted in the very near future um, from the bare bones basics to intermediate to more advanced topics. So please subscribe to my channel if you're interested in learning more about Excel and other applications to follow in the future. Uh, what you're looking at here is the main screen of an Excel workbook. When you first launch Excel 2007, this entire um, spreadsheet here is called a workbook. You'll notice at the bottom you have the sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3. These are called worksheets. So by default, I believe three of them come up. If you don't want the other ones, you can highlight that sheet, right click, and choose delete. Likewise, if you want to add a new sheet, there's a little uh, hover button here you'll notice on this tab. Just click it and you can create a new sheet. If you want to change your sheet's name, you just highlight it, double click till it's highlighted, and then type over it. For example, you could put sales here. A couple of quick things I want to point out about Excel 2007 versus other versions. You'll notice the whole menu system has changed to this ribbon type design here. So to start off with, there's a Microsoft Office button up here, this little symbol here. Click it, and you'll notice you've got the common commands that you used to have typically under the file menu, such as file save, file open, file print, things like that. Up here you have a quick access toolbar where you can put common features that you typically use, such as save, undo, and redo. And over here, this is the biggest change. Rather than having the normal file, edit, view menus underneath tabs here, or underneath menu items, you'll notice it's split up into different categories. So for example, under the Home tab here, or category, you have the more common functions that you would use, common features. Everything from font to font color to bold, italics, underline, to different other functionality like insert, sort and find. So those are the more common ones and then what you'll notice is these categories as you um, go through them they're fairly self-explanatory. If you want to insert something in your worksheet you click insert and you'll have everything from tables, pictures, charts, hyperlinks and other um, text items to add. Likewise, page layout is pretty self-explanatory to format the page. Formulas is, again, self-explanatory where you would go find formulas to use. Data is where you would sort, filter data, things like that. And then review and view are the other, tab, other categories. So if I go back to the home tab, that's primarily where you'll spend the majority of your time. Uh, one quick thing I want to point out is that in this quick access toolbar up here if there's something that you really like to use and you want it always handy on that on that quick access toolbar go into the Microsoft Office button you'll notice you'll have an Excel options button down here click it you'll get these categories here where you have formulas, proofing and, and save options. For example, under save you'll see save every 10 minutes. If you want to change that, you just change it there or you can completely uncheck it. But one thing I want to point out quickly is customize. This is going to customize your quick access toolbar. So right now you have save, undo, and redo in there. But if you always want to email your documents, you can click add. And let's assume that you want to, or you insert hyperlinks in your doc, in your spreadsheets all the time you can do that and click add say OK and there you see you have those new options up there and they're always there no matter where you're at in the menu system the other thing you'll notice down here you you have a couple options on the bottom right of the spreadsheet that's a normal view this is a page layout view and a page break preview so as we move forward in other lessons we'll, we'll um, delve into these different features much in much greater detail. You'll notice here you have a sliding toolbar that you can slide the size of the spreadsheet up and down depending on what you want to do for sizing. Okay, but we're going to leave it back at 100%. At 
All right, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. I just wanted to point out a couple of those quick things. And then on the next tutorial, we're going to make a basic spreadsheet, and we'll take it from there. Thanks for joining.